All right, onward. It's that arcade machine again. Let's get a move on. I don't like what I heard. You guys heard that too, right? Oh wait, that was probably the robot. What do we got? Used that guy to step on the switch, which opens the door, and then the bomb. Ugh, God, I'm confused. I see. Okay. So we use move to get him off of that. Then we move this Monokuma over there. We move the car. And then we go and use Ball Monokuma to our advantage. Alright, let's see what we can do. Move the car now. Uh, let's see if we can link this Monokuma and turn him around. Oh, I ballsed up already. Wait, maybe not. Can't see us, we're in the clear. Alright, here we go. Probably not the way they meant to, to me, eh, the way they meant to have you do it, but it works. It worked out rather nicely, I think. All right, what do we got up here? This looks like the room with that mask kit. Tools everywhere. Oh, it smells like paint thinner. Oh, paint thinner. No wonder I was feeling a little. It is a nice painting, though. Ah, well. Onward. Now we can open the door. So, wait, do the kids all just have multiples of their robots? Or, I don't know. Oh, hello. What's this? I shouldn't have had him. There's so much I could do if my son didn't exist. So much I could have done if I never had him. I could have obtained qualifications and licenses, take lessons, taken lessons, worked more, and said my entire life is just a platform for my son's life. I'd think about it every night before I go to sleep. If I woke up in the morning and my son was dead, how splendid would that be? But every time I wake up and see him, I sigh. Why are you still alive? Why do you have a normal life? I yearn for the day he stops being healthy and stops growing and just disappears. That's all I want. Why can't you just do something that simple for me? I want him to die so badly it makes me cry. And the fact that he has such a worthless face just makes me even more sad. It makes me think I'm the one who's wrong. I shouldn't have had you. That is horrible. No, I completely understand why Tiny is the way he is now. For the sake of my daughter. Her thing is worth like eight times more than mine. Younger women. The thing is... Poor bitch doesn't understand that she's worth more the younger she is. If you're looking for cost effectiveness, you gotta sell it when you're still young. But it's a waste of time telling a ten-year-old any of that, I guess. That's why mommy has to sell it for you. I'll sell it with you, as a set. Even if you cry and say it hurts, or it's too scary, the men still pay. Sometimes they even pay more. Even tears have value. Being young is a horrifying thing. It's not like I want money. It's not like I want to entrust my dream to my daughter. It's not like I'm a pervert. I do this, all of this, for the love of my child. 
I do it for her sake so she can sparkle forever. No matter how much she hates me or how much society will beat me up for it, I know my actions are right. It's the parent's job to shine the spotlight on their child. Dear God, what is wrong with these people? Nice! Now we can keep going! What a pain. After all this, they're still playing games. Oh, God. Another robot. No, two robots. Hero and There's Sage. There's no way it would end with those two robots from earlier. Not with these developers. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't laugh, but, like, that was clever. That was a very... A very subtle lean on the fourth wall. Well, maybe not really, but... They didn't break the fourth wall, they just... Again, they leaned on it. Anything over here? Anything over here? A uh, machine! No! Ah, curses. Okay, I'm gonna be very upset if I have to find the singing kid again, because we all know just how well that goes with me. It's that arcade machine again. Let's get a move on. Alright, what are you having us do? This room feels different than the others. It's less of a fighting stage and... More like a riddle. Hmm. Here's the thing that only you can see, and the thing that only others see in precise order. What? Oh! Oh, I see. So, shield Monokuma. My picture. Oh, no, it was just a mirror. Okay. It's a picture of a Monokuma holding a shield. It's a picture of a Monokuma with a light on its head. Okay, so shield, mirror, siren, bomber. Okay, three. Three, nine. Three nine four. Three nine four eight. That's our answer. What? Did you see the portraits over there? I thought they looked suspicious. Okay, that was a three. These were four and eight. Nine, what, three, six, four, eight, maybe? Maybe you control the Monokumas, and that gives you a clue for the password? Wait. Okay, so this was a three, four, and eight. Three. 
three something four eight. There's a mirror here. I'm wondering why. That's a four and an eight. Oh, three zero. Oh my God. Okay. I should have known. Like the hint was right there. Oh well, we got it eventually. I'm happy with that. So many reference books. I feel nauseous. I feel right at home. Maybe you already forgot this, but I'm a liberal arts girl. Honestly, I think Hannibal X is my favorite of the robots. The robot Just, moved. Like, I was thinking about it last night after that session. It's like, damn, the design, the way he fights, everything. It's just, that's my cup of tea. And then again, I tend to play snipers whenever I have a chance, so here we are. What do we got? I'm debating on switching subjects. I cannot obtain the result I was expecting with my experiment. I cannot discern whether the environment or the subject himself is the problem. I shall look into the experiment conditions in more detail. Until now, I have used solely visual observation, but should, I should erect cameras to watch the subject at all times and discipline the subject when resting longer than allowed. If I do not obtain any desirable assault, uh, results of the experiment, I will conclude the problem lies with the subject and change my experimental target. Uh. No kid deserves to go through any of this. There's no two ways about it. The parents were horrible people. Another game corner here. Link ammo? Curses. Four aberrant monokumas. We might be able to defeat them in one go if we get the right angle. Yeah, they need to all line up like that, so I need to move a bunch of the cars first. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six cars. Meaning... Okay. In order to make this work... Three... I really hope I can still hit that. Two, three, four. I screwed up. Hang on. This arcade machine is everywhere, isn't it? Four aberrant monokumas. We might be able to defeat them in one go if we get the right angle. Okay. So this one. This one. This one. And that one. One, two, three, four. Nailed it! Only took one retry. I feel bad about that, but yeah, it's whatever. We did what we could. Hello. Do you have some kind of grudge against athletic people, Toko?
No doubt about it. Monica is the best. Just trust in Monica and even brain rinsing is easy as pie. As long as they wear the Monokuma head, everyone's an ally. This keeps up. The paradise will be completed in no time. And when that happens, I'll bring priests to the entire world next. Toko, about this brain rinse part. He clearly means brainwash. Brainwashing? Does that really exist? I've only seen that in science fiction. No, that level of technology was developed long ago. Technology like that can't exactly be advertised to the public, can it? I figured this was the case. The masterminds made the other kids wear those helmet things to brainwash them. That's even more reason we gotta stop the adults from fighting the children. I mean, if they were under mind control, they aren't really to blame at all, right? I know how you feel, but it's better if you don't think about that. Huh? What do you mean? I know that you're growing, but I have a bad feeling about this. The way you've grown... Uh, I feel like this whole situation has been a setup. Setup? By who? The one who teamed up with that white-haired guy, trying to bring you all the way here. And here you are, right in the kid's HQ. It's exactly as that person planned. But even if that's true, if I just run away, I can't do anything about this war, right? Right, but... It's going to be all right. I don't know whose idea this was, or why they're doing this, but as long as we stop this violence, nothing else matters. You're right. We've come this far. Only thing to do now is believe in ourselves and go for it. You're really starting to sound like him now. Huh? You, you think so? Don't blush! Ugh, it's just like I said, brother complex. I was gonna say before that cutscene, maybe he just really likes soccer. I mean, these lights don't look bad. Matches the tile ceiling very nicely. There are a lot of soccer balls, though. Okay, this is a little concerning. Maybe I retract my previous statement. Now we can open the door. Hell, all the robot designs look really cool. It's just I like I like Hannibal X the best. I mean, maybe it's just the big fuck off rifle. Maybe I want that. Oh well, let's get our last tidbit of information. That useless shitty brat. I ordered my son to go buy alcohol. I even gave him the money. He comes back empty-handed. He said something about not having ID or something. Whatever. Who cares? I trained the boy. I made him go do it one more time, and he comes back with the alcohol. The next day, the cops show up. Apparently the little shit stole it. The brat humiliated me, but I trained him good as soon as the cops left. I hate my son's face when I'm teaching him a lesson. The smile he forces so that I'll stop hitting him creeps me out. He can't just cry or yell like a regular kid? Shit, I got myself a defective product. God, all these parents are awful. I don't plan on having kids, but if I ever do, I hope, with every fiber of my being, I'm not that bad. And if I am, someone steps in to do something, because, like, I, I don't know, I might not that be aware of it myself. the only one who didn't have a room. <laughs> what? She gets special treatment or something just because she's the mastermind? Unless hers is the last one. But, like, once again, just everything about this is cool. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Maybe it's my aesthetic. So this is a real office, huh? Do you think I could ever have my own office someday? I think another Ice Age would come before you end up in a place like this. <laughs> There we go. Nyo. Yoink. Oh! Okay, I'll deal with the uh, Bomber Monokuma in a moment. I want to check stuff out over here first. Hey! 
When I heard there was going to be a new member of our family, I wasn't expecting much, but somehow I'm still disappointed. We get this brat inside our house now. I have no idea what she's thinking. She and her whole attitude don't belong here. Food tastes disgusting when I have to eat with this alien and look at her smile. Everything she does nauseates me. I have a bad feeling about this. I can't shake the feeling that my family is going to pieces because of her, and my intuition is almost always right. I wonder if they realized what their kids were about to do before Junko showed up. <sighs> I don't know. Are there no hidden kids in this chapter, or am I just missing them? Either way, it's very possible. Alright. One down. And... Two down. Not as clean as I would have liked, but still alright. This music is too good. I can't help but groove to it. Is this what Stella felt like? Where are you going? The bathroom, obviously. Ah, <sighs> Toko. Let me explore. Let me have this. It's just an excuse to bring out Jill. That's all it is. Is this the right way? Ah, they won't let me into the restrooms. Curses, or the break rooms. They're not really restrooms. The resting rooms, but not restrooms. Semantics are weird. Also, is it just me or was chapter four ridiculously long? I don't know, maybe it was just me. Maybe it was because I got stuck on a puzzle. It's no use. It's not budging. Do we need a card key? Like we did for the elevator at Toa Tower? Then we can't use this elevator, huh? But it doesn't look like the other elevator's gonna move, so we have to work with this one. Wait a minute. Would Haiji maybe have a card key? He is the heir to the Toa group. Even if he did, that coward mole is in the middle of a fight with his Big Bang Monokuma. The coward mole you're talking about. That wouldn't be me, would it? Is that Matt Mercer? It just hit me. That sounds a bit like him. Haiji! Why are you here? Same reason you're here. You're looking for the device to control Monokumas, right? You too? The Monokumas from all over Toa swarmed me all at once. Even with Big Bang, they were too many. So the plans changed. Destroy the controller first, and make the enemy lose their edge. After the Monokumas are out of the picture, we're just dealing with kids. We can turn this around. Is that... Shirakuma's advice? Huh? So what if it is? Uh, no, nothing. But I had no idea you two were already here. No wonder we didn't run into too many of them. Anyways, good timing. Do you have a card key for this elevator? No, we don't need a card key for this. This elevator only works with retinal identification. Retinal? Is that an animal? Retinal means I... But why is it locked in the first place? This lock shouldn't be on unless it's been manually set. Last time I saw it was open. So who locked it? Don't tell me. Is this also her doing? She trying to toy with me? Stop your creepy mumbling to yourself and open it. Your eyes will work fine, won't they? No. The only thing that can release the lock is the eyes of Toa Group's chairman. Oh, the chairman? No. Your father? You said he was missing. Missing, right. 
only said that because I didn't want to admit it. The old man is dead. The kids killed him. What? Wait a minute. If he was killed, then retinal scanning isn't even gonna work anymore. No, as long as we have his eyes, the scanner should still work. So, all we gotta do is bring the old man's body back here. His body? Yeah. I think that's what whoever locked this door wanted me to do. After all, his body is on this floor. On this floor? Yeah, on this floor for sure. He was killed right before my eyes. The old man was killed in the chairman's office on this floor. Throat torn out by Monokuma's. I... I ran away, but I'm sure his body is still in the office. The chairman's office should be at the end of the hall over there. I'll leave the rest to you. You're not coming with us? If I have to go along with their sick little games, I'd rather give up entirely. Besides, it might be faster to just destroy this whole building with Big Bang Monokuma. What are you talking about? We're still in this building. I know, I know. I'm just kidding. Haiji. He's acting different now for some reason. And who's the her he mentioned? Let's try the chairman's office. Although, I can't say I'm excited about what we'll find. Well, I'm going over this way first. I am going to postpone that. So there's even more despair to burn away. Or something like that. Hey kids. You guys doing alright? Look, I know you're not blameless in this, but like... You're still kids. You've got a lot ahead of you in life. And it's like... I. Here I am, trying to be encouraging, and I just can't think of anything. A complete manual for marriage prep. With just this one book, you're safe from womb to tomb. From engagement to divorce, we have everything completely covered. We have completely covered the know-hows of anything and everything related to marriage. Learn the ABCs of marriage. <laughs> I guess there are some books that might be of use once in a while. Huh? Be of use? For what? Don't mess with me! For proposing the master, obviously. Once we're out of here, we'll make a vow right away. Uh, you can't do that, Toko. Can't? What do you mean, I can't? Are you saying that master rejecting me is a foregone conclusion? That I should just give up? No, I'm saying that if you keep talking like that, you're totally raising your death flag. Huh? Huh? Oh, you don't know? A death flag? Um... Like, imagine a mystery novel when a bunch of people are trapped in a mansion. One guy always says something like, there's no way I'm staying, and runs off alone. Talking like that, or making a dumb decision, pretty much means they're gonna die. A death flag. <sighs> I know what it is, I just don't believe in a stupid jinx like that. Toko, no, that's also a death flag! <laughs> I can't say that either! Characters who don't believe in curses or the power of God always get killed off! <sighs> uh, that might be true, but... Jeez. Stop raising all those death flags! Now we're really in a pinch! What's going on? How much do you believe in that stuff? Since that's the case, we have no po choice but to raise a survival flag. Huh? You see. In tear-jerking drama, surgeries that have a low success rate always mir miraculously work, right? And in anime, whenever you think the main character is going to lose, somehow they win. So we have to raise a survival flag. Activate super low probability principle. Well... Uh, okay. What do we do? What do we do? The probability that we're going to defeat the children is a mere 1%. Oh no, there's no way we can win against them. I'm just a normal high school girl and stuff. That's pretty much the first thing you told me when we met. <laughs> well, yeah, I've been trying to raise my survival flag ever since. <laughs> the character who tries too hard dies early too. Oh dear. That's a lot of Monokumas out of nowhere. This is what happens when you try to raise a survival flag. You can't force these kind of things. Man, I cleared the room in one go like that. Nice. Alright. Kids, just, uh, stay there. 
That's all I can say. Just let the kids do their thing. Take those 300 mono coins. And good thing I have paralyzed because that was really handy. Super raise, alright. I'll take more mono coins, why not? Uh, I need 10. I don't really need to worry about paralysis or despair time. So, yeah. Let's just go with super rays. I'm all about them mono coins. I was gonna say Benjamins, but that doesn't work. Hey guys. Ah, President Office, my favorite president. Ah, it's blood! Blood! Oh, I was so shocked, I really drew out that last word. This body isn't going to have a head. I did, but what should I do? It's laying on the floor. It's looking at me. You don't have to give me the details. If you don't think it'll work. But if we give up now, we won't be able to get through. And then all the people of the town might end up like this. I'll do it. Yeah, I'll do it. Paper bag. No, wait, never mind. I don't want to know. Yeah, probably better if you don't. Okay, let's head back to the retinal scanning place. <laughs> yeah. Jeebus, I thought they were just gonna drag the body. You look pale. Are you okay? Well, actually, never mind. I know you're not. That's gruesome. Like, from Doom Guy, it's one thing. But from Komaru and Toko? Not so much. A steel frame while pushing over mechanical bears? This is getting crazy. No! Oh! Wow. I'll retry. That was. That was evil. over mechanical bears. This is getting crazy. That was not what I expected to happen, but all right. Ah, over this way. All right, down with you. Can I take this? Can I even reach it? I'm amazed. That was just silly. Oh well. You know, it, it, it wouldn't be one of my playthroughs without something simple like that going wrong. It's always something, isn't it? I'm not mad, I'm just... I'm dumbfounded, more than anything.